Paid dudes, Bentley Coop, straight through the toll booth. Who knew that he could flow too, Kanye? It's in your hair. I want to get right in between you. Straight Use it like Lancome. For today's discussion, we're going to shift gears a bit and delve into the world of fashion and hip hop. It's no secret that fashion plays a huge role in the culture of hip hop. And one man who helped shape the industry as we know it today is Fonsworth Bentley. Most people may remember him as the umbrella toting personal assistant to P. Diddy. But Bentley went on to become a fashion icon, rapper, producer, actor, television personality, and author. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at his career and figure out why he seemingly disappeared from the public eye. Despite dropping an official debut album and appearing on songs with big name artists like Kanye West, these days Fonsworth is nowhere to be found. So without further ado, let's dive in. What up guys, Ali here and welcome to Ali Talks Music. Add me on Instagram at Ali Talks Music as well. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now let's get into the video. So Fonsworth Bentley, whose real name is Derek Watkins, was born around 1974 in Atlanta, Georgia. He came from a middle class family that valued education above all else. Both of his parents went to college, his dad to Morehouse College, and his mom to Spelman. From a young age, Bentley was drawn to music and began learning the violin at the age of two. He was quite adaptive in high school, serving as a concert master and even running track and cross country. He also had a great fashion sense at this age, thanks to his mom sending him to etiquette school. When I was young, it was a habit of mine to push my food onto my fork. My mama said, you know, if you keep doing that, you're going to etiquette school. Sure enough, she sent me to class and it was freaking horrible. Now fast forward to my sophomore year at Morehouse College. Evan Cosby, Bill Cosby's daughter was a freshman and she invited a group of us to her house. Towards the end of dinner, Bill looked over at me and said, I like the way you use your cutlery. Man, I didn't even know he was watching. I got up from the table, called my mama and said, Mama, thank you for sending me to etiquette school that summer. You never know who's watching. But what really influenced Bentley's fashion sense was observing the people around him. His father, a deacon in the church, always wore a fedora and carried an umbrella, something that became a signature part of Bentley's image. Seeing the unspoken respect that his father commanded taught Bentley a valuable lesson. The way you dress and carry yourself can command respect and admiration. Now when Bentley began college, he wanted to become a doctor, but later realized that his true passion was entertainment. He moved to New York in the 90s to pursue a dream working for Ralph Lauren in Atlanta. He was really good at his job, so he got a promotion and began working at the Polo Mansion on Madison Avenue. It was here that Bentley met Bad Boy's own, Sean Puffy Combs. The pair then headed off and Bentley began as Puffy's personal assistant, but his role quickly expanded beyond running errands. He helped Puff with rebranding and taught him how to be a sophisticated gentleman. Puff then gave him the nickname Fonsworth as a play on a character from a movie, and another executive added Bentley to his name. With his new identity, Bentley began building a brand around his image, wearing bow ties, suits, pocket squares, and his signature umbrella. Although he was mostly seen as Puffy's sidekick, Bentley even rapped on a track for the band's 2002 album and even showed up on Diddy's Making the Band, where he helped prepare R&B singers and rappers for success. Bad boy, huh? Let's see how bad you really are. How Sean Combs runs his life is like a consigliere. He really does live like the Godfather part two. I always say I went to Morehouse College with a degree in biology, but Sean Combs is where I got my master's and PhD degrees. Working for Puff gave Bentley more than just a chance to teach manners and style. He also made a lot of important connections and gained a lot of influence and fame. 
As he became more well known, all the hip hop elites began seeking his advice on fashion and sophistication. Bentley also helped Puffy change his focus from music to fashion after going through a difficult trial. At the time, hip hop fashion was all about white t-shirts and jerseys, but Bentley's style worked well for P. Diddy. Diddy then began to spend more time on fashion and together with Bentley, built Sean John into a $380 million empire almost overnight. According to Bentley, this also caused Jay-Z to change up his style. The next thing you know is Jay-Z putting out the song Change Clothes and it was his bridge, a cultural bridge where he was talking about the button ups which was a bridge for some folks who could not go as far as putting on a three piece bespoke suit. So they started wearing sneakers with jeans and a button up. Change After two years of working beside Diddy, Bentley decided to explore new opportunities and build his brand in a different direction. He left his job and moved to LA to pursue an acting career and explore his options in music. He made his acting debut in the movie Honey around 2003 and also collaborated with OutKast on a song on their album Speaker Box The Love Below. Is that Mr. Bentley Farnsworth? Indeed it is, sir. Around 2004, he appeared in the movie Fat Albert and the TV series All of Us. But it was around 2005 when his television career really took off. He appeared in several shows, including Borrow My Crew, Before, During and After Sunset, PDD Presents the Bad Boys of Comedy, and All Shades of Fine. Bentley also continued to work on his music career, appearing and performing on Kanye West's bonus DVD for the college dropout and working on a remix of Diamonds from Sierra Leone. He even had a long collaborative relationship with Kanye, which began when he appeared in the song The New Workout Plan of the College Dropout. By around 2006, all eyes were on Bentley. He began scoring bigger roles, musical appearances and solid media attention. He voiced the Talking Flask in Outcasts, film album Idlewild, and appeared on the TV show VH1 Fashion Rocks. And Confessions of a Celebrity Assistant. Around 2007, he wrote a book and also appeared on Fat Joe's Make It Rain, the remix, alongside R. Kelly, T.I., Lil Wayne, Baby, Rick Ross, and Ace Mack. Bentley's music connections were finally paying off. 2008 was an even bigger year for Bentley. He appeared in the music video for Will I Am's Yes We Can and was featured on the song Donkey Out on Harrell's Straight Outta Harlem. He also dropped his own debut single called Everybody, which featured Andre 3000 and Kanye West. Hadn't been shopping Perrier while the made it. I hope you ain't hungry, got mass for no gravy. But Unfortunately, music just did not stick for him, and it would be a long time before he released anything else. Instead, he went back to television and landed his biggest television role to date as a host on his own show, From G's to Gents. On the show, Bentley transformed contestants into sophisticated gentlemen. The show ran for two seasons, and Bentley continued to make appearances on other shows. Although from G's to Gents verified him as a top fashion icon in America and was the peak of his career in the spotlight, Farnsworth Bentley continued to work behind the scenes. Remember earlier when we said he was a violinist by trade? Well, the last thing he did around 2008 was feature in the Yes We Can music video, playing the violin in support of Barack Obama's 2008 presidential campaign. In 2009 and 2010, he continued to act and sing. But it was around this time period when Bentley suddenly disappeared from the spotlight. He would only resurface here and there and contribute to music and film. This left many people asking, what happened to Farnsworth Bentley? The simple answer is a woman. Around 2009, Farnsworth proposed to his longtime girlfriend and they were married around 2010. After achieving so much in his career, Bentley stepped back to focus on his family and only returned to the entertainment industry when he was inspired. I guess Farnsworth Bentley was a gentleman after all. Then around 2012, 
inspiration finally hit Bentley. He dropped his first musical album called Colors, and it featured many big names like Kanye West, Lil Wayne, and Faith Evans. When Fonz with Bentley dropped Colors around 2012, it marked a significant shift in his career. While he continued to contribute to the music industry, he did so on a quieter note. He composed and was featured on a religious album by Daytrick Haddon around 2012 and was also a songwriter on Kanye West's Yeezus album. Over the next few years, he had two kids. He also made a cameo in the movie Think Like a Man 2. And around 2015, he worked on Kanye's Ultralight Beam on the life of Pablo. That same year, he dropped his last single, Keep On, featuring Faith Evans. Ever since then, Bentley has mostly disappeared from the public eye. While he hasn't become a recluse, it's safe to say that he's no longer interested in pursuing a music career. Despite his undeniable impact on the hip-hop culture, particularly in the realm of fashion, he never quite found his footing as a musician. Instead, he focused on building an empire in the entertainment industry and growing his personal brand. Today, Bentley's interests and goals are aligned much closer to his heart and faith. He's always posting his family on social media. He's still involved in various fashion and film type events and most recently attended the 2023 Sundance Film Festival. While he may not be in the public eye as much as before, Bentley is still involved in the entertainment industry and is still pursuing his passions. On Spotify, Bentley has a massive 87 monthly listeners and his most listened to songs are Keep On and Donkey Out. That's it for me, it's your boy Ali. What happened to Fonsworth Bentley in your opinion? Let me know it down below. Video requests, I'm always taking those. Also add me on Instagram at Ali Talks Music. Till next time, peace.